up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs, and in this video we are going to be continuing the progress on the tug of doom Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your matches, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound. Mostly in this video, the thing I'm going to be focusing on is finishing up the fiberglass work, um, finishing up the cabin, and then also starting on the bodywork. And as you can tell, we finally end up getting in primer. Once it's in primer, I can kind of start getting a good idea of what the, everything looks like. You know, you kind of miss stuff when you just see a, you know, a whole panel of Bondo and fiberglass. Once you get a solid color on it, like a gray primer, you can kind of start seeing all the spots that need some more work. So that's what I'm we'll be focusing on now. But uh, take a look at what we've done so far. One eternity later. So I have been sanding the fiberglass on the tugadoo for like probably two hours. And it's not anywhere close to where I want it. I got these big, you know, gaps. I laid in a ton of fiberglass. You know, I built it up like probably four layers or something. But I wanted it real thick so I could shave it down and, you know, smooth it out how I wanted. Well, the amount of sanding and sandpaper that I'm going through is just outrageous. So I think what I'm going to do is cover the entire thing in Bondo. Because you can sand Bondo real easy. Bondo sand super easy. So I'm going to cover the whole thing with Bondo. Sand it down. Make sure everything is smooth as glass. And then do another coat of fiberglass over the top. I know as far as like structure, everything is plenty strong right now. Um, it's, just, it's just I want the look now. I, I want it to look real smooth. I don't want it, you know real jagged and and not only that i don't want to spend six hours block sand and fiberglass i want to get it i want to get it perfectly smooth with the bondo and then we'll just do another real light coat of fiberglass over the top of it and uh seal it up real good and then we can start doing our paint and stuff like that so uh it's probably gonna take two or three gallons probably more than that maybe maybe three four gallons of bondo i'm just gonna put it all over the whole thing just cover the entire thing in bondo then we can just block it all down make it perfectly straight and uh, hopefully it'll look a lot better. And I think it's gonna save me a ton of time in the long run because this shit is just hard as a rock. I built it up so thick, you know, which, which is good. But at the same time, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna sand this thing for 200 hours. It's just, <laughs> this ain't the project that I'm doing it. I got, you know, I got like hot rods worth 80 grand in the shop right now. They're a lot more important than this thing. So let's get to bondoing. You pick up your pallet knife and then work that into your meat. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. So, it is fully coated in Bondo. I'm going to have a ton of sanding to do, but at least I'm just going to be sanding Bondo and not through all that fiberglass. I coated the entire thing. <laughs> so, I'm going to get this all sanded down and then... I'm going to start tracing out where my windows are going to be. Here it is all bondoed up. Now I'm ready to sand it down and get it smooth. It's kind of nice seeing it all in one color. So the bondo finally dried and we are sanding all this shit down. The blue is some guide coat we sprayed on it just so we can kind of get an idea of how smooth it is in certain spots. I'm gonna get this all smoothed down, and then I'm gonna draw my templates for the uh, windows. So I got all that sanded down. You can see how much of the fiberglass came back through. You know, this, this Bondo coat was just to kind of smooth it out so I wasn't just sanding through all my fiberglass. And I went ahead and put some more Bondo on a couple of low spots I got. I put some more fiberglass on some like trouble areas or strength areas what are you going to call it i'm worried about it cracking in those areas essentially so there's my second coat i'm going to let this dry for tonight and i'm going to probably sand it some more tomorrow and then i'm going to start figuring out where this window is going to be let's cut the son of a bitch out
tape all over this and then I'll trace it with a permanent marker and then I'll take it off. That way I can just use this exact same pattern on the other side. I kind of love it. Exactly duplicated from the other side. I swear these are the most annoying sounds, some of the fetches. <laughs> It is cut. Oh, it looks so badass. I'm real happy with it. <laughs> it looks like a tugboat, baby. I'm going to pull it out in the driveway tomorrow. Take better video of it so you can kind of see better. I'm gonna put plexiglass in it on the sides in the front. <laughs> All right, let's go. Man, that looks cool. I wasn't 100% sure about this cabin to begin with, but uh, I really like it now. <laughs> yeah, boy. Got a couple coats of fiberglass, just the resin, not any cloth or any fiber, just the resin, which will actually waterproof all this. And not only that, it'll make it real strong. This is like the fifth coat of, you know, resin and fiberglass it's had. So it's, it's actually getting really strong now. But the great thing about this is it waterproofs everything. It actually is really smooth. I'll just have to pretty much sand this with like a 120, kind of get it smooth, and then shoot some primer on it, and we're ready to start putting windows in and stuff. I'm gonna let that dry for probably a day. <laughs> Check back later. The next day. Look, it still looks wet. Is that resin so slick? Now all we gotta do with this, just scuff it down. Cup it down with like some 120 and then uh, she's ready for primer. If I see any little spots, you know, that I didn't get, I'll do like little spots of fiberglass before we do the primer, but it's pretty much ready. Fiberglass work is finally all done and it's time to sand this baby. Honestly, it's smooth enough. I'll probably be able to prime it right after I sand it. I might find a little spot in the front here or there that I might need to tweak, but pretty much we're sanding this baby and then getting her in primer. Yeah, I got a couple other things I got to do to it, but I want it all sealed up in primer before I start doing the other uh, stuff I'm adding on there. Finally time for some primer. Got it pretty damn smooth. I think I ended up having like six coats of fiberglass, so everything is super duper strong on it. So, I'm going to lay some primer down on this bad boy. Go time. Starting to fix some little pinholes. I got a couple little spots here and there in the fiberglass that weren't super smooth, but it's starting to look like something. I think I'm gonna get the uh, plastic for the windows tomorrow. Start doing the windshields. Sweet. It is time to get started on the tow hook. I want to attach it back here. There's all kinds of important stuff. Air boxes and hoses and pumps and shit. So, I welded a rod to a drill and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it where I know it's not hitting anything. Instead of coming from this side back here and drilling in and hoping I don't hit anything, I'm gonna come from this side and that way I know I won't hit anything important because I'll dodge around it. don't like that it's not centered obviously but there's nothing I can do about it because you know there's there's an air box right there I can't really cut that up so what I'm gonna do is I'll just make sure that my plate is centered and then the drill holes will just be offset a little bit kind of like that I 
have the exact pattern. We'll just take this to our piece of metal now. liking it thank you guys very much for watching as you can tell it's came a long way um it's really nice to finally get it in the primer so you can just see everything you know kind of see the crazy stuff you have been doing the cabin i wasn't 100 sure the whole time i knew it needed something extra just because the just kind of the windshield hanging out here didn't look right the cabin was a perfect idea but i'll be completely honest with you i wasn't sure that i liked it until i saw it in primer <laughs> the whole time i was kind of like eh, i don't know maybe I loved it once I saw it in primer. And uh, next up for this build is I'm gonna get some plastic, uh, some plexiglass windows coming. So I can get these all finished up, get my windshield in, and then also finish up the winch in the back. So stay tuned for that, it should be a lot of fun. Also check out my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, I kind of do little daily videos um, on how it's coming along, or you know, every couple days, I guess. They're never as detailed as a YouTube video, obviously. But they're kind of little snippets here or there and what, what I'm working on and, and where I'm at on it. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos. And check out some more of my other videos. Peace! Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around How that sound, yeah that sound good, tell them